I'm back. I had to run and make me a quick run, man. I said, you're probably going to send out a note cake. Yeah, you, your note cake good, man. Damn, man. Oh, wow. They don't send out. I got a bunch of new subs and everything, man. That go get up that what? I'm back now. I had to make me a quick run. I'm back. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Just say like him. Uh, see if ain't no thing pull up. I don't know why Sarah be tripping mad at me and shit. I don't know why Sarah be mad. She says she don't be mad, but I know she be mad. Uh, and make me a quick run. Some shit I forgot at the last damn minute I had to go do. Queen baby, what up? I'm going to drop link too. I like can spot on them and flame them want to come back up. Uh, Queen Baby, cocktail, pretty brown, what it do? What y'all got going on, man? They said Luke over there talking. Luke, Uncle Luke said he, Uncle Luke talking about why, uh, why he didn't join Diddy parties and stuff. Trey Day, what up, though, nigga? Man, I don't think goddamn Diddy going to no prison, man. I just don't see her. Drop it in the chat. I should have put like a vote down there. I should have put like a voter down there. Is he is he going to pre? Let me send out no case to make sure everybody get him. I like to come in and fuck with my folk for a little bit, man. I, I had a last minute little shit I had to do. I had forgot, man. I don't feel to get comfortable in everything. Say he ain't going, fam. You know what I'm saying, man? I don't think he's going no goddamn well. I got to get goddamn Spider and Flame up here to get on that shit, man. I know uh, Spider got that Flame going to come up here and put me on to the game. Uh, let's see. Instagram share. Let everybody know we back up in that motherfucker, man. That Kimberly already in here. Cocktail already in here. Uh, let's see. Wink. Dennis. Chantel. Cindy. Miss T War Annie P nigga don't know I got all my people on goddamn Instagram nigga goddamn like oh shit I just sent you one friend you ignore that one nigga I got all my people on Instagram you say uh we need to make a bet uh uh nigga I ain't betting nothing on that shit nigga I ain't betting nothing on that shit though nigga yeah uh, cause I don't know I don't think so neither man Y'all drop some, drop it in the chat like did like that. Ain't no thing pop out the bush. Man, I got twenty dollar goddamn Sarah ass gonna pop out the bush right now, nigga. Hey, he said, oh, hell no, nigga. I ain't finna bet on that because I don't think it's finna have a cap. I don't see that joint finna go down, man. But he may though, cause like it looked like it, man. That nigga got damn got he got his dope man that got caught up in that thing, bro. So I don't know that nigga dope man that got caught up at the airport. You know what I'm saying? What you say, cocktail? I think this on some deeper junk from the uh 90 with Pac shit. They might want people mom who back and did that. Was saying, it's deeper than we know, man. I believe so too. But that's how they do. They come up with old stuff. Uh, all them did, uh, man, they can bring down the whole industry if they wanted to. If if we gonna look at old stuff, they probably man, they got some on all them new. All them do be attending them parties doing the same stuff. They be all that junk be recording video. And most of their houses have surveillance cameras in them, be big mansions and stuff. So, like, all those celebrities, like that's what Jerry Epstein did. He had all them dudes on tape. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm saying, say, I don't need a friend. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they're going to get a man. Say, been watching, being what, been watching him. Yeah. I ain't no thing got them pop out the bush. Why do I don't make Sarah pop out the bush, y'all? Watch this shit. I don't know why ain't no thing be getting mad at me. Yeah, yeah. He sent Cindy and Lincoln to see if Cindy pop in. People I ain't seen in a minute, man. Pop up here, Cindy. Uh, Sassy. I don't know how to get in touch with Sassy. That Sassy not on the Instagram. It made to make me a damn quick little last minute move, man. I said, oh, shit, I forgot I had to do something. But, yeah, man, I don't, I don't know, man. They talking about Jay-Z going down. Hey, why do everybody want damn killers free in the Dolphin case? 
You know what I'm saying? Why everybody want to kill the free of the dog? Okay, not everybody, but you know what I'm saying? Why do these people think? What make these people think that straight drop them didn't kill a dog? I'm lost like a mug. I look at the real evidence. I don't see no evidence that's making them look innocent. Like my nuper. I don't see zero evidence that make them joker look innocent. So, oh, no, what's going on with that, dumb man? Oh, look, get a mist. Uh, no, nah, that was something else right there. Yeah, man, salute everybody. I love everyone. I just come in here and rap for a little bit, see what was going on with my people. Fuck with y'all for a little bit. That's why I don't preset no lies. Well, I don't really, really finna do that. But if I just feel like popping in, talking some shit, I'll pop back in and see what's going on. But yeah, man, I don't think they finna do that. I think they just upset them about something. They mad at them about something. Say, uh, 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 hey, man, you be hitting each other rapping on it, nigga. I ain't gonna bring up no name, though, man. Yeah. And we running out of shit. Like, nigga, we be trade be hitting each other. Like, they look at this right here. What the hell is this right here? I just be laughing at that shit, baby. So I don't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna make no videos. I ain't gonna say that if I do make some, it might, I might just recap some old shit. I'd rather recap some old stuff than just make up some stuff, man. That's just me, man. You know what I'm saying? Because some blog be making up that stuff. But like, they be putting that stuff up every day. And I be looking at their chat and the people be believing that stuff, man. I be like, they're folk crazy, yo, boy. They would believe everything somebody say. And they don't even be showing the evidence. They just be on there talking. They'll put up one picture, like, and just talk through the whole live and shit. Uh, and they'll just be they'll chat in the comments believing it. Hey, man, sick cocktail said it's looking like Operation Takedown, all the black billionaires. I don't know. They think I don't think they messing with everybody though. Is who else they messing with? The D, the only one they really been at lately. Did you say Queen Baby Mama? My daughter is seven months old now with two teethers and another coming and walking around in her walker, watching you on the bigger screen. I show how time go by. That was up, Mama. We glad she helped in walking around. We remember when you were just knocked up up in here. Time go around like a mug. Say you ho and okay. Oh, nigga, I even get in that shit, nigga. Hell no, nah, nigga. Hell no, nah, this career is some shit, nigga. No, no, no. You know how these damn subscribe will be, nigga. They gonna go hit, hit her and be like, that nigga what I talk about. No, 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 no. Not me, no, no, no. That nigga trade ain't stupid, man. Hell no, man. Get that shit. I already know me, nigga. I be retaliating, nigga. I be ready to get there. So I know old guy. If it never know about it. Say yes, yes. And say, um, did it gotta pay the higher ups and he will be cool. Well, say he done made somebody mad, man. I don't know what it is, but say so remember when uh CEO mentioned MJ, MJ and Diddy seems connected and she got fired. I don't remember that one. Somebody, uh, uh, you remember that Michael Jackson and Diddy seemed connected. Oh, MJ, you talking about Mill J? Hello. Remember that when CO mentioned MJ and Diddy? Hello, who MJ now? Mill J, Michael Jackson? Who, uh, you know, a slow co a cocktail was connected and she got fired. Talking about CO Media or something like that. You know, I don't be watching them Joker, man. Like, I don't be, I don't be, you know what I'm saying, watching them Joker like that. Like, I don't be studying. I threw a few little hashtags in this one. I ain't throwing no hashtags in that lab. I wonder what everybody got going on, man. Ain't no thing. You ain't no busher, goddamn. You ain't no goddamn busher, goddamn. I bet you won't pop out and tell me why you bad at me. Who is CO, cocktail? Who is CO? I'm trying to think. I don't know who that is. Yeah, but it's going it going wild wow, around here. Uh, it did it did something made somebody mad, man. I just hope they don't push the trial back. You know, I'm waiting on the dog trial. That's the major thing I'm waiting on. I ain't really tripping off did it. <laughs> that shit gonna just disappear. Watch what I say. That's what they did with Trump. They bought about 30 women Trump rape. And then they uh raid his house and all kind of stuff. And then when when they get how they want it, stuff just disappear. I don't think if it do that to the man, but we'll see though. I don't think if it do that to the man, but we'll see, oh man. 
don't know who who is a uh, CEO uh, cocktail. Yeah, come back at me with that one, Mama. Yeah, say uh, we'll put this up on the screen right quick. Share screen. Uh, I think this the right thing I was pulling up. Oh, look, Candace Owens talking about Michael Jackson and Diddy connection. She said she was scared to keep investigating it because she might end up dead. Oh, I ain't I don't I ain't really watch her too much. I thought they had the kids all handcuffed this stuff, man. So they had like, oh look, it's somebody else cuffed too, like an older guy. It's two boys, a little girl, and it's an older guy with like a blue jacket on right there. Who is the older joker with the blue jacket on? Say, so, uh, that would have, that would have, um, I don't know who Candace always is. I don't know who the hell that is. I don't watch them. That's what I'm waiting on. Dog trial. They got everyone and the rest of them deceased. You know I'm saying, man, we'll know, man, because like everything I be saying may be wrong or whatever. Like the pictures may be just fucked up. I don't know. I hit that like back for a new stream. I came back in tech. I had to make me a quick ass run, man. I thought at the last minute I had to go handle some bit, some quick business. I was finna chill. I was sitting down in the damn studio. I was kicked back. Then I thought at the last minute I had to do something. I just came here for a quick second. I like to come in and rap with my people for a little bit. Yeah, boy. Hey, who is that joker? Like, hold up. Hold up. Um, uh, yeah, man, it look like saw a grown man sit down there on the ground. That's that camera I'm finna get right there. I'm finna go order that motherfucker right now. That's that camera I'm finna get right there. It got like a wireless microphone that connect to it. Shit, it's about like a hundred, hundred and fifty something like that. I'm finna go order that mug. Salute, war. I came back in here for a little bit, man. I hope flame and spot will pop up before, before we smashed out. Yeah, man. Shit. Say, uh, zoom him in. All right. Let me see if I can zoom the Joker in, man. It's like an older cat with the, like, that go the two sons right there. And that go the girl. Then it's another cat sitting on the grass, and he got his arms behind his back. So, like, I don't know, man. What the hell going on? They about had some more people there or something. <laughs> There's some more people there or something, I guess. I get them the two sons. They say it was two sons, the daughter, but it looked like an old, old head was there, too. It looked like his arm behind his back. That looked like he handcuffed to me. That the, Both the sons look like they handcuffed. I can't tell if the girl handcuffed or not. But the guy sitting down on the ground, he looked like he handcuffed. Look like he caught K. Yeah, you know that was saying. He might be light skinned though, but yeah, he do look like white guy. But he might be just light skinned. Look like a light skinned dude to me with a little black beard on. That could be some of the employees that was in the house. Yeah, could be. But like I said, that's how they do, boy. They cuff everybody up in that joint. That's exactly how they do. So it could be. Let me get my glass. Yeah, we about to have a good live. I, I, I had got a text. I forgot I had to go run over and do something real fast. And this could be some of the employees that was in the house. Y'all know who that doctor there is. And I said, I thought it was just the three people in the house. Nah, it was more people up in that mug. But yeah, man, we're going to see what's up gonna see what the hell going on like i said they better not put that dog trap back off i know that nigga. they put it off this town just gonna be like fuck it 
Cause right now I'm waiting, man. I know it's finna be a lot of channels gonna be smashing the delete button because niggas gonna be going back in your content. Nick niggas gonna be going back into your content and be like, uh yeah, you remember you tricked the people and you were saying that bullshit right there? And when these niggas get convicted and they be definitely the murderers and they showing all the evidence that the dude killed off. Everybody around these YouTube talking about them, they ain't the killers, but y'all motherfuckers gonna be looking stupid as hell. Said, uh, what about the tunnels that they found? Hold up, they found some tunnels. Said, I allegedly heard Diddy was cocaine, Ciroc, seal bottles. Hold up, yeah, cocaine, Ciroc, seal bottles being breaking down into sellable coke. Is that cap or not? I don't know, ain't no telling, man. He had a drug mule, ain't no way, ain't no telling how they was transporting that stuff. That's some crazy stuff there. That's the TV stuff there, like on the movies. I either had the cocaine in the T-shirts. Then you had to put the T-shirt in some kind of liquid to make the cocaine come off from up inside of us. So uh, he was hiding cocaine in the damn Ciroc bottles or something. That'd be crazy. Damn, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, goddamn. You better bring your ass about the goddamn bush and go. I, just, I was just doing that to make you pop out, mama. You know I love you, mama. I, ain't, I know you ain't mad at me. I just got them, got them texting you. I just know I just know how my people work. I know how to get your ass up out them goddamn bushes. A lot of my other folk folk in the bushes. I guess folk just be want to chill sometime or whatever. Well, sometimes they may be with the ops with the enemy. <laughs> you know or sometimes they just like to chill in the bushes. Antonio H, we got one new one right here. Salute Antonio. All the new people, man, come on out the bushes. You okay, man? Ain't nobody finna mess with you. Said Diddy was uh, the cocaine cowboy. Hey, they just caught his mule, his his, his uh drug mule, Antonio H. Let me look it up. Salute the ain't no thing, Sarah Jane popping up in here. Uh, let's say uh, let me put a message up on the screen. Say, Poppy, I'm not mad at you. I love you. Shaking my damn head. I've just been crying, feeling like shit, but I love y'all. I, I, I'm sorry, mama. I don't know how you've been feeling because I ain't talked to you. you know what I'm saying? I ain't talked to you about a goddamn week, or maybe two weeks. How long have been since we talked? About a week? So, shit, I don't know. So, I ain't, you know, somebody I you to talk to I ain't talked to them, and I'm trying to trick you out the bushes. So I can see. But, yeah, she ain't feeling good, man. She been feeling bad. Like, she got some kind of bad-ass flu. And I know how that is, boy. You don't want to be bothered with no damn body. Luckily, she is here typing. I know how that is, though, man. When you really, really sick, you don't want to be bothered with nobody. Like, that's, how I, that's how I be, nigga. Nigga, I don't want to talk to nobody or nothing. No phone call, no live, no internet, nothing. None of that, boy. But we all pray for ain't no thing that she get better. All right, let me look up this damn drug smuggler right quick, man. Like, Diddy had a damn drug smuggler. His smuggler. Diddy's drug smuggler. Uh, Diddy's alleged drug mule. Let me see which one I want to click on. Uh, Diddy's. I'm gonna click on NBC. NBC or New York Post? Which one y'all think? NBC says Diddy's alleged drug mule arrested for cocaine possession at Opelika Airport. New York Post says Sean Diddy Cone's alleged drug mule arrested as feds. Uh, I'm going to do New York Post. That would sound a little bit better right there. That would sound a little bit better right there. All uh, right, we're going to put this one up on the screen. And we're going to see what's going on. That's what they saying. Uh, then give rappers a hundred thousand dollars. Then get that back. Oh, hold up. They said. Um, that's what they are saying. Then give rappers a hundred thousand dollars. Then get that that get back cap. Oh no, tech. You gotta type that one one more again for me, man. <laughs> You got to type that, that one for me one more again, Tech. Tim Estes, salute. What it do, Tim Estes, salute. Yeah, but I don't think that boy did it. It going nowhere. But some people think he 
going down. I don't think so. I think they just trying to spank them. Let me take this off right here, man. Take that shit off. All right. Sean Diddy Combs alleged drug mule arrested as feds intercept. Oh, they intercepted his jet. That's what they saying when they give rappers a hundred thousand dollars. Then they get that back. I don't understand. Type that one more time for me, Tech. Ain't no thing said definitely not two weeks, more like a half a week. Oh, okay, more like a half a week, but I know it feel like a year. It been about a week, goddamn shit. Just the last the shit that they was over there. My mama them house, I think shit. But probably about four days. Tim Mess that salute. Miss uh Kim said, Ain't no thanks, Sarah Jane. Speedy recovery. Thank you, beautiful sis. Make you a hot today cocktail, sis. Yeah, man. What's up with this joker here being the drug mule, man? Like, what kind of drugs were he bringing in, y'all? You know what I'm saying? People, you know what I'm saying? People, like, what was this joker here bringing in? Well, bringing in them goddamn things, bringing them things over there, <laughs> like, shit. They 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 got them jokers simultaneously, cause like that's what they do, man. They don't be wanting you to tip the, the other people off. Okay, they busting, they busting. So like when the feds bust and they busting more than one spot, man, they gonna hit them joints at the same time, bro. That's the camera I, I've been looking at. That's why that shit keep popping up, man. These damn ads keep popping up. I don't know why it keep popping up like that. But yeah, Brendan Paul, 25, he was booked on March 25th after the feds intercepted Diddy plane, and he is facing one count of possession of suspected cocaine and suspected marijuana. How can you suspect some cocaine, y'all? Like, no, it, 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 he got the cocaine? No, he don't. It, it, do we got the coke or so do we don't? Shit. So they selling bottles of coke in the Ciroc. I believe. Hey, salute, salute, Russell Douglas. Salute, OG. Hey, boy, what you think about that boy did it, Russell? Is that boy did it going to prison or what? Is they just going to tap him on the hand or what? Is they going to get Jay-Z as well or what? But you got what you think. Let me know. Make sure I sent everybody the link, too. Ain't no thing. Make it clean up in this thing. Make it clean up in this thing. Said, uh, did they get Diddy? That's what I've been asking everybody. I don't think they have him in custody. That's what I've been trying to see. Like, where is he at? Do they know where he's at and he's chilling on in the United States, or is he like on the run outside of the United States? Like my nooper with these ragged ass lighters I be having, y'all. I the finger be thumb be toe up about to get through with these trash ass lighters. Shit. All right, nooper lit, nooper lit. All right. T thumb be toe up out there, get through with these trash ass lighters, got that thumb be hurting like a mo. Uh, says salute, tap, what it do, my G. Salute, OG. We just up in a fucking round, man. We ain't doing that for real. Just a pop out live. We do call these pop out lives. Now we preset them things now, boy. I see, I know the game now, nigga. I see how that shit work now. Y'all, I, I ain't been presetting the lads. When I preset the whole shit, more people pop out. I don't know, got all kinds of people pop out. But yeah, man. And then them niggas put some kind of notification hack on my shit. Because we just came out of here. And, and, and it got up to like maybe 25. And I, I be doing tricks like that on purpose too. Ask Sarah. I be doing that shit on purpose. I say, I'm going to end the live and I'm going to turn it back on. Because they'll have a notification hack in there for your next live. So when the next live start, that be the notification hack. I'll end the live and then start that bitch again. And then when I start it again, then the, the more notifications will go out. Like it be some weird stuff going on. It be some hater stuff going on on the YouTube. But I'll tell you, boy, they be hating on my channel big time. But when I preset them, they can't stop that shit though, no. because it, it puts it on everybody page and, it, and everybody gets a chance to press the notification thing and it let them know thirty minutes ahead of time. And then it's gonna let them know when you turn it on. Like when I preset it, they can't they can't hack that shit. 
But it, when I pop up though, they 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 be hacking that. Cause that be like for my that's just like a video. If when I pop up, I make a video, notifications don't go out. I be knowing they did some kind of hack shit. Cause my my things tell me I got a thousand people got the bell wrong. Like so, like I don't be getting number like ten notifications go out. I be like, man, these nigga hacking like a motherfucker. Every blue moon they'll go out here right, but they, they they keep a look on our channel. Y'all know I ain't lying. Everybody in this chat know I ain't lying. Them nigga be subscribed to our channel with about ten different pages on y'all. And uh, them be cut. We just had goddamn well, how many trolls came here the last live, y'all? Like what it was day four yesterday. Man, we had all kind of white people popping up, a raps popping up, shit. Like I be like, these are the hackers right here. And I met, I be messing up letting them on my panel because they said when you let them hit the link, they come on your panel to insert the hack. Man, that white dude that just hit our link, man, that nigga don't know nothing about no goddamn young dog. Y'all, y'all saw that lad dude, and he was streaming my live at the same time over there. That nigga, like, it did when he dropped down, four, five other damn trolls hit the shit. And I was telling him, I said, turn your camera on so I can see you, man. That motherfucker turned his camera on. I swear that was an A rap, but I ain't never seen one. That was a hacker, nigga. That nigga was a fucking A rap with a fucking robe on. He had a long ass beard. I was like, you don't know nobody no goddamn young dog. What the fuck is you doing over here, nigga? You a hacker. They be sending them hackers over here, bro. Like, why? How is all these trolls starting to pop up now that my numbers starting to go up all of a sudden? You see what I'm saying, y'all? Like, you got to peep game, man. That's how they do it. When our numbers be up, then they got them got to put them hacks in to try to keep our shit down. Then when my when when my numbers go back down, they leave us alone. Don't nobody be in here but me and my regular people. But when my numbers go to get back up and all kind of people start popping in, then the fucking hackers start coming out of the fucking sky. Them niggas start parachuting out the sky, all kind of shit. And we had about five of them just came in this bitch lad live, man. Not the one I did today, the live before the day. When we had like about, about maybe about 115, 120 folks in here. And live before that, nigga, we had 200 in the bitch. But the last live, they had about 115 in here. Like, them motherfuckers don't want my numbers to go up, man. If they leave my shit alone, nigga, I have a thousand folks up in this bitch, nigga. If they just leave my shit alone and let my notifications go out, that, 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 it's just jealousy. That's all it is, man. But I, I don't care. I'm not in competition with no one. I just like to come in here and rap with my people. Whoever pulls up, they do. Whoever don't, they don't, nigga. Like, we just make sure we stay in contact with our regular people, though. Like, if I got you on IG, nigga, everybody, if you want to goddamn definitely get the notification, subscribe on my Instagram. Like, I, I sense the notifications out on my Instagram. Like, I so that, they definitely ain't going to never be able to stop that because all our, our people, nigga, we linked on Instagram. Nigga, I be sending them hoes out sarah be sending them hoes out we all got there we gonna link up in this bitch regardless nigga but you definitely want to get them get the notification subscribe to my ig and you got to like message me It'd be like salute or something like that so i already have you in the in the little log because i just go down the log pressing the send but to people who i've already messaged and shit just boom 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 go down there and hit everybody and then they pull up if they do or they can watch the replay later on whatever whatever and that'll get the algorithm going too, because when folks start hitting that link, it's letting YouTube know you got some people coming up in that bitch. That 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 shit gets the arrow. That's that nigga that uh, a rap came with this bitch the other day. Trade ain't nigga shit. Hell yeah, a, a fucking white man came in here first, nigga. Ask everybody in the chat. First, a white man came in here. He has some man. It was a redneck dude. He was racist as hell too. He was a racer. Everybody started messaging me on my phone. My phone started blowing up. The chat started blowing up. He had people coming from his live over here. It's like, this nigga streaming your channel. He's a racer too, tap. Such, 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 such. I got my damn near 15 subscribers out his ass too. I, I am glad. He but yeah, he, and then he, he, he turned on me all of a sudden. What is this? Is this a murder channel or what? I'm like, yeah, nigga. You came up here to befriend me. And then sooner or later, you was going to jump out with that bullshit. I thought he was going to come up here and pull his goddamn penis out or something. I'd have had them do that too, Nick. I'm telling you. They do that to strike your channel. I'd have had them come up here and literally turn the camera on, pull their fucking packer out, cuz on the stage, Nick. <laughs> like, yeah, it'd be some crazy stuff going on on YouTube. So I would tell him to turn the camera on. But dude came up here out of nowhere, white dude with some long ass hair. What his name was, y'all? forgot his name. You go look at that live. It was like two lives ago. And we was like, dog, who the fuck is you? 
everybody was telling me like everybody started popping up in the chat like new subscribers out of nowhere he's a racer man he be he out the black people this and that and then after he left four five more of them popped up different ones because i made them turn their camera on in the back chat when i got them in y'all can't see the back chat i can so i have them in the back chat and i'd be like turn your camera on so i can see who you is he turned the camera on. I said, that's a fucking A-Rab. The fuck? But I still let him up. As soon as I let him up, he went to screaming some crazy shit. I let him down real quick. Like, nigga, we had my fire dad popped up in this bitch, cuz, like, for real, back to back. And they wasn't the same person. They were different ones. Uh, I let me know, like, my channel is being targeted, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Make you think the police doing this shit. It's real, for real. I don't know what's going on, man. But it'd be funny to me, though. That shit be entertaining to me, dog, for real. I'd be on here laughing my ass off of that shit. But I ain't let them get two words out, though. Like, as soon as I heard them screaming, I dropped them down real quick. He ain't even get to say nothing. But, but uh, let's get back to the content. Did they get Diddy? Oh, y'all dropped in the comment. Did they get Diddy or not? Or is Diddy still on the run? Uh, He's going to tell on the whole industry of Hollywood going out there. I'm saying, man, because, like, everything he do, they all do it. Like, they messing with R. Kelly. That's why R. Kelly's so mad. Because R. Kelly was like, nigga, this is normal for us in our industry. No, this like that shit ain't normal for us as a people. No, it's normal for them in their industry. Let me change that. Because nigga, nigga, take my words and chop it. Like, they be doing with rave and shit. They will be to chop my words up. So, let me change. No, I was saying, like, that's what he say. Like, this is normal for us. So, like, R. Kelly was, was tripping, too. Like, why they coming at me? This is normal for us. Like, we all do it. All the producers do it. All the big, all the, the celebrities do it like we all do it. This is normal. We do this at the rituals all the time. Every Saturday night, I pay my ten thousand like the last Thursday. Why y'all messing with me? I pay my my dues. We do this all the time. We do this at rituals with the little kids and shit. Like what's going on, y'all? Uh, yeah, that's what they do. But they'll come out to you like well, that's what they do, man. Like they came out to that Harvey Weinstein guy. He's a movie producer, like. People that want to get like he the big budget movie producer like they be he, they they do like the big budget movies nigga like the Spider Man movies and the fucking Iron Man movies and the the real HBO shits. He's the Weinstein Production Company. So all the big time celebrities he used to try to get pussy from them. He would get the women in there and they call it couch cast and get the women in there. And he'll just walk out the bathroom naked with his dick hanging out or something like. And the women will be like, whoa, you know, like. I guess he do that to see how they react. Now, some, you know, if a bitch starts smiling or something, he feel like they with it. And if they get scared and run out the room, then they. Uh, but one girl recorded him, and, and and she kept saying, "I don't like that. No, no one has never done that to me like that." She recorded everything. He was like, "No, just sit down, just touch it, just massage it. You don't have to do." It. Like she caught him on camera with the whole shit. and like, and they say he's done that with like lots of celebrities, lots of celebrities have done this with movie producers to get the good movie role. Like, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, the music people out there sell they sold to get the check. Okay. They call it couch cast. That's what they do with the women. The women have to have sex with the producers to get the good movie role. You know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of that has been going on, period. But they took him down. Okay. They waited for a minute. They say Bill Cobb was doing it, too. Same thing they say he was doing, uh, these dudes here was doing, uh, did and them was doing that they putting the, the stuff in their drinks and date raping them stuff like that same thing they said bill Cobb was doing man you know what i'm saying but it'd be some stuff from 30 40 years ago they bring up old stuff that's what i just can't understand right there that lets me know it'd be some funny because like you gonna get the person instantly like they did trump they ain't messed with trump at all soon as the man get ready to run for president all kinds of old women start popping up out the bushes. I know people don't like Trump. I'm just using it as an example. I'm just speaking on the truth. We got to be real with the facts. Soon as that man ran for president, 30 women came out the bushes. Uh, women 90 years old just popping out the damn bushes. Like, yeah, man. That, like, come on, now. Trump said, man, I wouldn't hit that with your pecker. Nigga, like, tell what Trump was saying. Trump was like, nigga, I wouldn't hit that with your dick. Yeah, like, yeah, man, shit crazy. Like, if he did it, why you just now coming up saying something about it? That's all I be saying. That make me think that like, they keep it put up for a right time to when they want to come out with it, when you make them mad or when you do something wrong or something. That's that's just what I feel like, but I could be wrong. That's just my opinion. Did the debating on what he going to do. 
man, his stomach over there drop, boy, like it's hot. He boo booing hot liquid. I ain't talking about he ain't boo booing liquid. He boo booing hot liquid, nigga. That nigga ass on fire over there. <laughs> Hey, you know how your ass did something wrong and you know you finna go down, nigga. Everything ain't never finna stay on your stomach, nigga. Your ass on fire up in there in the bathroom, nigga. Shit, I'm trying to tell you, I, I, I done been through this situation here, my nigga. I'm like, oh, shit. I, mean, uh, I gotta go to court, see the judge. You need to go sit me to prison or what? But see, I had youthful offender. They gave me youthful offender and after a certain amount of years, it erased off your record or whatever. I got caught with 50 Delauded, they call him K4. It's on paperwork, so I can speak on it. I got K, you know, that Lil Wayne rap about the K4 stack stash. I used to move them K4. I, you know, what I'm saying the, the, I was the pill, nigga. K4, Oxycontin, shit like that. But they caught me, nigga. They caught me with 50 of them hoes, nigga. And they, they tried to give me, like, nigga, I was young moving them shits. I've been moving them shits. I was young, young. But I got caught when I was like 19 years old. They tried to give me 90 days boot camp. Nigga, I ain't even want that. I didn't want that. I waved it to the grand jury. I my ass dumb as hell. I waved it to the grand jury. I, I'm not knowing what no grand jury is. I waved it to the grand jury and I won. They gave me two years supervised probation. I had to like I was on TAS every time my color came up. We got some called he'll call TAS. When your color come up, you got to go piss. My color was gold. I had to piss like every week. I was on supervised probation so he could pop up any time and see me so I couldn't get in no trouble for them whole two years. I do two years, it it, it come it's supposed to come off my record or whatever, whatever. So it did because I'm able to get a pistol license or whatever. I'd have had all kind of little, little wild ass charges and shit when I was young, nigga. Emptying weapons into occupied dwellings and shit. They're gonna roll through the project shooting shit up and everything. Swear to Jesus Christ on the Holy Bible. I'm driving through the project shooting shit up, nigga. Like I'd have been to jail for all that shit. I was young, wild, and they clean the fuck out. It's a uh, cocktail that they sent you a rail, man. Yeah, man. They sent the white dude first, then they sent the a rail, fam. Say, so, uh, I just pulled up. Uh oh, he talked about my racer. Man, ain't never that to him. He truly a racer, too, tap. Y'all know that joker. Salute. I see Gail down there. I'm slowing, I'm trolling down the, the messages. I'm coming down. And he was trying to over talk you. Yeah, the joke was trying to over talk me. When I was telling him, I was like, man, you can't stream my content. Then he turned on me. Oh, hold on, hold on. What kind of channel is this? Is this a murder channel or what? Okay, now I know you were sent. You know what I'm saying? I be believing they be sending like agents and stuff on this YouTube. Now you try to come over here like that shit. No, nigga. No. The, my logo double tap stands for. You can tap on the content once you go on to tap on it again to watch the content again. You know what I'm saying, people? You know what I'm saying, people. <laughs> that, that what my shit stands for. You understand? But if you go look at the goddamn short sections, you might see something else. But I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, my shit stands for you tap on the content, you watch it one, you go on tap on it, watch it again. I just you know upset. That's how you that's how I do. Says so, Miss Zelda said, Dolph real alter. I, I saw she started talking about the autopsy right after we jumped on it. Say, uh, I talked about real altar points a 24 hours. He was ascended cap or no. Oh, no, man. I could pull it up right now, though. Let me pull it up right now, right quick. Hold up. Let me see. I got it in the bookmarks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bookmark, all right, all right, and then there it is, right there. I'll be ready. I did that. I booted myself out. Salute to Miss Kim for the 12 month member. Salute to Sassy. I see you down there. Salute to Pretty Brown. I down. Ain't no things I shot. I tell y'all, sis, for the cover guy. I had clicked on the bring up the screen thing, and you know what? It, it put it on this screen and kicked me out. 
instead of put it on a separate screen. All right, here it is. Let run that run that because we ain't even go through the whole the whole thing for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? So let go through it and see what's up, man. Boom, there it is. We on point, nigga. Size is say tap. What up, though? Yeah, they sent Jimmy last time. So they need to send Jimmy. He will fight his hell. That's what they do. They be sending them damn hackers. Them damn white hackers. They sent Jimmy last time. You know when somebody pop up and got like 50 computer screens. You know what nigga got right there with, with the setup with three computer screens and shit. And he's sipping on that liquor and shit. Like you, his whole setup look hackerish. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen three computer screens right there together. I'm like, yeah, that motherfucker there's a hacker. And this last guy that just popped up. He a hacker too. And all these other trolls that start popping up, like, why would a Rams and shit be popping up? It's like them hackers, man. Salute to Kimberly for the membership. Let's run this this good old content. I'm gonna take myself off the screen. Uh, uh shout out to y'all. Sassy say what up, Tap. Uh Kimberly say what up, Sassy. Pretty Brown say what up, Sassy. Nigga Clean say what up, Sassy. You say what we talking about? We were talking about Diddy ass. Diddy going to uh jail, and if they about to get Jay Z next, and also I was bringing up why do people want the killers free so much? Why do why do people think straight drop them are not the shooters? Like what evidence makes them think that? Because the only thing that will make me think that is evidence. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just dream it up and I'm not going to listen to no goofy ass blogger. So some evidence would have to make me think that. You know what I'm saying? So like what evidence would make the people think that? I don't even think it is no evidence. I think they just goddamn they got brainwashed. You know what I'm saying? Cause like they look like the niggas that's on them. They look like the niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm that them niggas. Yeah, that 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 straight drop with that goddamn hat on, nigga. Nigga, that that that's drop. That's him. Shit. Like, nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? That straight drop. Uh, now when like it that that's just how the pictures look though that fucked us up. You know what I'm saying? Cause look, now that straight drop running around that corner. Don't he look short right there? So that's just the angle on how the camera, like the pictures may be just fucking us up. You know what I'm saying? Like when he running around that corner, he looks short, don't it? But when he right there, he look a little taller. Now when he run back, he looks taller. He looks tall as hell towering over Cornelius. Don't look at him. Straight drop is on the left. He was the one with the pistol. Look how tall that motherfucker is right there. But as he's coming forward around the corner, look how short he looks. So that just could be just the camera throwing us off. You know what I'm saying? Like, that could be just the, the angle of the pictures. I, now, now, I stay on my facts. I can't understand why them niggas' clothes and shit ain't matching up. You know, me and Ravens, they arguing about that shit. And I can't understand why them niggas' clothes and shit ain't matching up. They they sizes and shit. Like, it could be some camera, something that ain't doing something or something. We finna go over the autopsy, though. But, like I say, camera, I don't see how a camera can make two and three look different like that. Don't supposed to be the same people. This nigga jacket is different. His jacket has white lining on it. He got some white sticking out his pocket. He got like some skinny jeans on. And his pants are pulled all the way up. Number two is sagging. He busting a sag and he got like some big baggy ass pants on. And they 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 hoodie ain't the same. I zoomed in on the shoes. The, the shoes ain't even the same. Like drop pedals like some. The, the nigga number three got on like some white clean ass shoes. The two got like some dingy, dirt, dirty shit. But the guns ain't even the same. Like, you can't hide that banana clip, nigga. That bitch is long, buddy. You're not going to hide that. Look at that number three. Look at that motherfucking long ass banana clip come down. Okay, where is it in number two? That's all I'm saying. Here it is again, fresh. Boom, like. It, they just don't look the fucking same. We like we could be thrown off though. They may be the same. I'm just saying what I see. Them two niggas don't look the same. That nigga there, you can see the banana clip. That nigga there, you don't see no banana clip. You know what I'm saying? Like the niggas, this nigga here has his clothes pulled all the way up. He has white linings on the bottom of his jacket. This nigga here busting the sag. Goddamn, he ain't got no white nowhere on there. Like, 
different clothes, different sizes, different guns. It, it just make you think. But like I said, it could just be the picture throwing us off. You know what I'm saying? That's all it could be. You know, like we'll know we'll we'll know when it come out of court or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But let's get down to the autopsy though. Um, uh, said so Dennis, I just pulled up. Hey, love to the AK. Salute to the cover guy. Is there an autopsy report that says R.I.P. Dog that he was gone 24 hours earlier? Nah, I ain't seen no autopsy report that says he was gone 24 hours earlier. This is the real out. This is the only autopsy report right here. Any kind of other shit, I don't know where the hell they got that from. But this is the real deal, Holyfield autopsy. There is only one autopsy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what, what, what else people, I don't know who bought up whatever, but it's one autopsy report. It's not no two, three, four, five different autopsy reports. The people do one. They write the case number on it, the state number on it. They write the date, all that shit on it, man. It's going to be one autopsy report. Uh, Airway Boulevard, date of death, 11 17. All right, they saying he died at 12 39. So, the shoe happened around 11, 11 30, something like that. That's the time they got there and pronounced the OG dead. They did toxicology report for the sons. It's like 15 pages of shit, nigga. We finna go through it, cause we ain't go through the whole thing. It got kind of crazy here the other day. Body identified by fingerprints. Person present at examination is Jasmine Shorter. All right. Gunshot wounds to the torso. Gunshot wounds to the right back, right back, left back, left back, left back, left back. So two to the right back. One to the right lower back, four to the left lower back. Hold up. Let me see. You got to tell me, mama, because I don't be, you know what I'm saying? You got to let me know. So, yeah, man, salute. Said uh, right back, uh, right, left, lower back, uh, Exit wounds to the left chest, left abdominal two times. Uh, okay, Kim, I got you, Kim. I got you. We talked about yesterday. The left abdominal two times, left abdominal th hemothoraces. Oh, damn, what kid? What the fuck is me? Me, the man, the mark of the bob, the man. Oh, the, what the hell going on here? Hemo, hemothoraces, thoraces, seven, 750 milliliters. Like they weigh shits and everything, nigga. Like they take stuff, they be weighing up stuff and everything, bro. They break down the breakdown up in there. Boy, I couldn't be no coroner, though. Hey, think about it. Nigga, your ass don't want to beef with no coroner, boy. Them nigga chop your ass up, boy. <laughs> and weigh your ass. They'll chop you up and weigh your ass up. <laughs> For real. You don't want to beef with no goddamn coroner, boy. Yes, uh, yes sir. Hey, hey, cause them the niggas that know how to, how to kill your ass like real easy, you know what I'm saying? Like they know everything about a body, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, no, you know whatever, you don't want to get down to get down with them. Got they'll get one of them damn little scalpels, nigga, and fuck your ass up. You say, uh, intestine, livers, thoracic, small intestines, left, ninth, and tenth ribs, right and seventh, eighth ribs, T8, T9, ver vertebral body. Frame contusion to the lower lobe of left lung. I'm speaking on shit. I don't know nothing about y'all. I'm just saying. Uh bullet core fragment to the right chest. They they pulled out a fragment bullet on the right chest. Mm. They was hitting OG all the way around, man. But that's how it be like when you get shot. You don't just stand in no one spot. He when he when they shoot now to be probably tried to like duck down and turn the other way. Because you don't want to face them bullets. Like you be the first thing in your mind is to turn sideways to try to dodge them. They're like, put it like this: if you standing right here in, in my living room and I throw up goddamn rock at your ass, your first thing gonna do is to flinch sideways, like to turn sideways. You know what I'm saying? And when them things start hitting you, it'll spin, it'll spin you too. So that about he seen them coming, and that's the first thing he gonna do is like get down. That's I believe mean, that's why they were shooting low, but it all come out though. 
Uh, they got them into the head and neck, right chin, right neck three times, leftward and backward uh, injuries to, to the tongue, skeletal muscles, right mandible, uh, bullet fragments in the right jaw. See, they was up close, man. They were up close, man. Like they, they. I'm starting to believe the 22 times. Shit, I'm starting th to think it was more than 22. Shit, they got the full automatic and they up close, man. And they, 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 they hit the man all uppers. I don't even see nothing in the legs at all. They got them all up and from the chest all to the face to the jaw to the head. Like I don't see nothing in the leg, man. Everything is in the head, neck, chest, back. I don't see nothing in no leg. Cause see, they 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 like they ran right up on the man. Like there ain't no way they can miss. They ran close right up on them, dog. That, them niggas, they were trying to make sure they didn't miss because it'd been so many attempts that they they just wanted to make sure. That's why they didn't want to do it while he was driving the car. Uh, they cause they had tried that and it didn't work. Them nigga wanted that money. Oh, I think Straight Drop just didn't like Dolph and he wanted the money. I think Cornelia just wanted the money. Straight Drop already mad and was hating because over what happened between them and whatever. Uh, uh, track The track is downward. They said the left anterior arm, the track is downward, backward, and rightward. Track, BIA skin to end blindly in the soft tissue. Right posterior arm, right axilla. Gunshot related wounds, head, neck, upper extremities, chest. See, I'm saying that's where everything was. Goddamn, the related one was head, neck, upper extremities, chest. I don't see nothing in no legs. Left. Oh, it got some left thigh now. Look. Hold up. Yeah, there is some in the. Yep. We got some in the leg. We got some. Well, it ain't really low. It's some in the left. Remote bullets in left thigh. And right lobe of liver recovered. They got bullets out of his left thigh, and they took bullets out of his right buttocks. So yeah, he turned. He tried to turn away from him, man. That's all you can do, man. When it, when you turn, you ain't gonna just sit there straight up. Like you gonna be trying to goddamn get turned away from that shit, man. Like if somebody throw something at your ass right now, the first thing you gonna do is turn away, try to dodge that shit. But they snuck up on the OG, my nigga. They gonna get what they deserve. Don't worry about it. Say, so, uh, gunshot wounds, head naked towards all this. The fact they here in our correct to the best of my knowledge. Juliet Scannerberry. I remember I made a video on that goddamn Juliet Scannerberry. Uh, February 22, 2022. Uh, the electronically signed by Juliet Scannerberry on Tuesday, February 22, 2022. They put them 22s up in there, boy. You could have signed that motherfucker on January. You could have signed that motherfucker in December or uh, November. Why you got to wait on February 22, 2022? Like, them, them, there's a lot of 22s. And like at the end of the trick-or-treat video, the white man says, tonight, $2 million. Y'all don't know how the industry do. They be doing stuff like that on purpose. In his video, they got the sign up by the Swisher Sweets. You see the two and the two. 22 it's a lot of 22 symbolism in a lot of his videos and like the, the white man said at the end of the trick-or-treat too i just had to blank it out because it was copyright but he said he said tonight and he said he didn't say like tonight two million like normal tonight no he said tonight two million dollars that's how he said it like to make sure that the the, the 22 shit get out there there is gunshot entrance wound to the right back. There is gun. Hold up. Gunshot wounds to the. Uh, oh, that's a video right there. There is gunshot wounds on the right back. There is gunshot wounds to the right lower back. There is gunshot entrance wounds on the right back. Uh, it seemed like he was uh, facing like towards the um, the door. He was facing towards the laundromat in when they ran. They snuck up on him. He was looking at the brother, put it like that. He was standing on the other end on the phone facing his brother while his brother was at the, the counter, whatever, whatever. There is a gunshot entry wound to the left back. There is a gunshot entry wound to the left back and of the left back. There is gunshot entry wound of the left back. I wonder why they wrote that so many damn times. Oh, oh. There is a gunshot exit wound of the left chest. There are gunshot entry wound left abdominum 
and of another level of dominum, right chin, right neck, and boy, all right, they measuring it. All they doing is measuring it right there. Uh, four times two centimeter area of a slit wounds to the forearm. There are linear abrasions left and tear forearm, small lacerations of the left nose. Oh, look now. He got lacerations to the nose. That's a fight, nigga. I don't know. It could be a bullet, but I'm just saying. Bullets don't leave like lacerations, nigga. Especially not no goddamn Draco, nigga. Uh, them shit's gonna take a whole nose off. If he got like a... Laceration to the nose. I could I could do that, but now, yeah, yeah, mama, I got you, sir. That's all. Yeah, I, I, if I was one of them goddamn kind of bloggers, why I'd be ran with this shit. I'm like, nigga, they got their fault off in the damn cookie shop. They were holding them down, but nah, man. Yeah. All the upper body shots, I still believe a shooter was in the cookie shop. Yeah, could be, mom. Like I said. I believe so. Some have on inside, but this, and we can go with our opinions. Everybody free to their own opinions. I believe so because that side window. I keep telling people like, nigga, the side window is shot up, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Somebody had to be on the side, or somebody was inside, or the bullets were making left turns, or one of the two. But you know what I'm saying? I believe some have on that inside too, mama. But we'll know. We'll see. Like, yeah. like we could be wrong, but we still are free to our opinion. Like. Everybody ain't got to be exactly right about everything. You know what I'm saying? I always say that, man. Everybody come in. Don't know what I say. Everyone is free to their own opinion, my nigga. It don't matter about if they're wrong or not. Everyone is grown and they are free to say what the motherfuck they want. That's just how I roll. I don't know about nobody else. But unless it's just two outrageous now, I get your ass up out of here. That shit's stupid. You come here talk about some dog died in the damn dollar store and shit, and the shooters ran in the dollar store and shit. Like, I'm, I'm gonna yeah, them get your dumb ass off my panel then. Because the folks have the videotape. Like, they have the videotape. Nobody's gonna be shown running in the damn dollar store. And Dolph's brother was there. He would have chased the dudes in the dollar store. That's why they told that 007 lady, get your crazy ass up out of here, lady. Get your ass up out of here. You know why? But let me tell you, let me show people how this 007 shit is fake. I'm going to show people how 100% this 007 lady fake as hell. Because this is what's going to happen in court without a shadow of a doubt, nigga. I ain't even got a cap on this shit. I'm, uh, when I say something, it's 100%. This is what's going to happen in court without a shadow of a doubt. They're going to roll a big screen TV out and they're going to play that videotape for that damn jury. And those people aren't going to see no damn body running in no damn dollar store. They're not. If somebody ran a dollar store, they would have to jump on it. You know why? Because the FBI overwatching this case. And if it's on that videotape, they know it's going to come out in trial. So why would they suppress the shit that they have on tape? It's going to come out on the tape. Don't folks have the videotape. There is a videotape. They have it. I have played the damn scanner footage plenty of time with people seeing the police saw it. We know the police got that damn videotape. We know it's going to be played in trial. Nobody's going to be running in no motherfucking dollar store. They're like, nigga, get up out of here. That's why they told that. that and that's going to prove that that damn 007 ladies cap. So anybody that's had that bitch on their panel, I feel sorry for you. Anybody who's had that bitch on their panel that been lying to the people, I feel sorry for you. I be trying to help people. I be like, man, no, don't listen to that lady. Because cause them people have to tell the truth. They cannot suppress that evidence. It's on videotape. They're going to show the videotape in the courtroom. So if the, they turn the TV on and they show niggas running in the dollar store, they going to get in trouble, ain't it, y'all? They going to be like, why the fuck y'all ain't told us nothing about that right there? Like, nigga, come on. Nobody ran no dollar store. That's why Dolph Brother did not run in no dollar store. That's why Dolph Brother did not chase no niggas in no dollar store. Because ain't nobody. Now, that lady might have saw some niggas. Like, she might have thought them was the shooters. You know, like, 
I could be like I keep my gun on my hip. So I could have been in park my car and I'm walking in the dollar store and she see my gun on my hip. And she may think I'm one of them niggas. She may be, oh, there's some niggas in the dollar store with guns. They the shooters. She might have maybe thinking that like she saw, because everybody in Memphis got them guns on. That's how we do down here. Nigga, you go to goddamn Burger King to cook back there, be having their thing on them. Ask Sarah. Nigga, them niggas be having them sticks on their ass while they cooking around here. You go up in the windows up the street. Nigga, I swear to Jesus Christ, Holy Bible. Niggas in there cooking your burger with a big ass gun on them with a stick hanging out his fucking waist. Like, that's how niggas roll around here. So, like, you see some niggas just in there with guns on their waist. They could be regular customers. That don't mean, don't, don't put that shit like a little damn dollar stuff. That lady make his shit up, man. And you would have told the police on the crime scene. You're not going to just wait some months to come to fucking YouTube. You told YouTube before you told the police. Get out of here, my nigga. Get out. You went and found a YouTube blogger and put it on YouTube before you even just went. Like, if you a real witness, what are y'all going to do? You're going to tell the police, aren't you? You're going to tell the police on the crime scene or you're going to go to the police station. You're not going to wait months and months just to hit a blogger up. And then you let a blogger get you. To go to the police you didn't want to go on your own you let a blogger get your ass to go up there for some content stupid as hell he probably paid you to go up there or what i don't know but this lady went up there and put in a report and they told her ass don't come back up here we're gonna lock your ass up that fake ass paperwork you're coming up here with and those folks ain't lying ain't nobody ran in no dollar store my nigga. i'm telling y'all uh there's a good shot room into the right back womb is located 25 five centimeters below the shoulder right uh posterior midline the hole measures 10 10 so they measuring the holes and everything it's round with focally inverted edges the edges have abrasion rings measuring see they measure them joints and everything but they know which which gun was shot how many how many times he got hit with which gun and everything because the the hole's gonna be like a certain set the wound is located 27 meters below okay we ain't gotta go through all that there was a gunshot wound the right lower back Four times, womb is located. Okay, we ain't got to go with that. There was a gunshot entrance womb to the left back. Womb is located. Okay, let's keep going down. So we know he was shot a lot in the back, though, and a lot on his right side, making us think he was facing the counter. Okay, now this makes me think wasn't nobody close to him right here. It says the edges have an abrasion ring measuring two millimeters in greatest dimension and is superior in medial to the wound now check this out this is the major thing you look at right here no powder stipple or soot identified i'm gonna tell y'all what that mean that mean wasn't nobody right up on him shooting nothing like you know like because if i'm right up on you shooting it's gonna have some you're gonna have some backsplash from the gunpowder the gunpowder is gonna be like on your face or wherever i shot you at so when it says no powder, stipple, or soot identified, that just means wasn't nobody right up on him. They were right up on him, but they were shooting through the glass. So that gunpowder is not going to get on him, you know what I'm saying? Because they outside shooting through glass. Like if they were inside the shop, right up on him, like with that, man, he would have gunpowder all over him. Gunpowder is like you get a, go get you a handful of goddamn baby powder and just blow that shit out your hand like that shit gonna go where like that's how gunpowder is when i go to the gun range man when i come home that shit be all over my body that's it be all in my clothes and everything if you have been to gun range you know like nigga, you come back home your whole clothes smelling like that shit ain't it you got gunpowder all over you so when it says no powder stipple or soot identified maybe it might that might let us know we didn't have them on the inside but we're we're, we're out the way to see though but that just mean wasn't nobody close though. Like so it could have on the inside where they couldn't have been close now. Like if I'm like if I'm about 10 feet away from you, ain't no gunpowder gonna get on you. But if I'm within maybe five feet or, or better, putting that motherfucker right up close to you, it's gonna it's gonna get on you. You know what I'm saying? Like the closer you are, the more gunpowder. The further you are, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna get on you. Uh gunshot wounds to the like uh like that what that what they saying by the soot and power, cause that's how they find out like you how close a person was with it with if they find like soot or that little circle or that little uh powder stipple on them that'll let them know person was shot close range somebody was right up on them shooting like that's how they solve cases and stuff 
uh, no gun, no gunpowder, no soot identified. Let me know what nobody, what nobody write up on. Put it like that. Uh, wounds AG have atypical features that vary. Penetrance wound types were assigned whenever possible. There is a gunshot exit wound to the left chest. Wound is such such such. such. All right, let's keep going. Uh, verbal contusion to the lower lobe of left lung. Bullet fragment in the right chest wall was recovered. Okay, we've seen all this. Uh, gunshot wound to the head and neck. Wounds to the right chin. Wound is located five centimeters below the level of the mastoid process. The hole measures that it is, a, it is an irregular wound with minimal to no abrasion ring. See what I'm saying? That abrasion ring going to let you know I, I put that thing right up to your brain and blew you off. You know what I'm saying? That's what that going to do. Say, uh, no powder, stipple, or soot identified. There is significant commune factoring of the right memorable and a louvral fracture. Big boy, crazy that words on here, boy. I don't know nothing about this. Y'all don't know me. I'm already goofy now. I don't know nobody got them words. No powder, stipple, or soot identified on that neither. Posterior wounds is six times in the hyperpigmentation of the skin. Okay. Area of dark hyperpigmentation of the skin wound to the right chin and neck are associated with diffusion distribution of bullet fragmentation of various sides the largest fragment recovered from right jaw and submitted as evidence boy uh, them niggas got damn got the gun they really do like you, you, you nigga, if they caught your ass with the work weapon straight drop your ass really gone because if they have the bullets they can match the bullets to the gun i'm telling you they are goddamn take that gun from straight drop Take it up to the police station. Shoot that bitch down in a big ass tank of water. They're going to reach down there and grab that bullet out. They're going to take the bullet that came out of Dolph. They're going to take the bullet that came out of that tank of water. They're going to put both of them on some micro microscopes and they have grooves on them. They have like a special, it's like a special fingerprint just on your finger. Every barrel has their own groove signature. You know what I'm saying? Like bullets twist when they come out of barrels and it leaves certain grooves on bullets and none of them are exact the same just like nobody fingerprints are the same so they're going to match the grooves to the bullets that came out of Dolph and they're going to match the groove to the bullet that came out of straight drop gun and if them joints are exact nigga he finna be too. And they're gonna prove that to the jury. Like, just like I'm proving it to y'all on here right now, this shit is gonna be said in court same way. Salute Paulo for the super sticker. Paula Hall, salute for the super sticker. I don't be seeing them, y'all. I'll be on a whole nother page and I have to pop back over here and see what's up. But that's what they're gonna do. Salute Sabrina, I see you down there. Um, You got it down to, yeah, that's how they do. Tell y'all, boy. They gonna... If they have straight the murder weapon, they, and they said the same murder weapon was used in Covington, so this motherfucker they go they go do the same thing with the uh the lady that died down there. They said the same gun was used and the same car was used, and the Covington police said that shit like they said the same gun and they have both. They have the gun and they have the car. Okay, I don't know who they caught with the gun though. You know, like did they catch straight drop with the gun or did they catch the Owens boy with the gun or who? I don't know who house they caught with the gun, but. Whoever got caught with that move, they going down. Because they, they going to match them grooves. They they have bullets. And they can take the bullets out that wall, too. We know the bullets that didn't. that And them bullets are going to be perfect. The bullets that did not go into Dolph, the ones that went into this red wall, those are going to be in perfect shape. Like the ones that came out of Dolph, they going to be a little bent up and kind of dinged up or whatever. But they still can use them, though. The ones that they, they, this is what they do, man. I'm telling you, they did this at my house. They dig bullets out the wall, Jack. That's what they're going to cut. The, they, every, I circled them. Every last one of them bullets that went in that red wall, they're going to go cut them jokers up out of there and bag them. So when they find the murder weapon, they can match the bullets to the murder weapon. They're going to get that murder weapon. They Like I tell you, they're going to shoot it in a tank of water. They're going to reach down there and grab the bullet. They're going to put both them joints from the murder scene and from that tank of water on microscopes and a computer is going to, they ain't going to even, they'll look at it with the eye too, but they'll get a computer to see if the grooves match up. Because like I said, when bullets come through barrels, they spin. Bullets just don't go straight through a barrel. 
a barrel spins a bullet. It's like throwing a football. You can't, a, a, a quarterback can't just throw a football with no spin. It won't go no goddamn where. So that's how they throw the 100 yard dash. The football be rotating. That's what gets it to go fast. Bullets spin. As they go through that barrel, it leaves grooves on the bullet. It's leave, I put it like that, it leaves scratches on them. It's going to leave a, some scratches on it. And it's and that's a certain, and no, no bullets be the same because barrels are made different. But like all barrels, like they be made, they be all processed. It be the same gun, but all barrels have like a little small, little, little something different in them. And it's going to leave like a different groove. That's how they match bullets up the guns. Like you can go buy five of the exact same guns, but each one of those barrels going to have like something small in them different on the inside. That's just how the factory make them. They be they don't be exactly the same. They probably do that on purpose so they catch people, so they know how to catch people. But yeah, they would dig all these bullets at the wall and then they'll mess them joints up. So like whoever they got caught with that murder weapon, they're going down. You know what I'm talking about? They got them joking with the vehicle too, and they said the blood and the DNA was in the car. So like I don't know, y'all. Y'all gotta let me know. Shit, let's go that let's go back down this this um this joker ear. Say, uh, we on page eight. They got 15 pages. There was a gunshot wound with the right anterior forearm. Oh, look, they, they highlighted this one. There was a gunshot wound to the right wrist. They hit the OG in the wrist. Man, they hit the man all through his body, man. There was some bitches. I wish the brother would have murdered both their ass on the scene. But, you know, like, that just how it should be on the scene, man. Them nigga probably was spooked. Like, it, it don't just go how you think it, boy. You got to get the fear out your ass first. You got to get the spookness out your ass first to, to, to respond. You know what I'm saying? That shit scared the hell out your ass. Some niggas run up and just hold down the trick. We ain't talking about no pow, pow, pow. We talking about some brr, brr type stuff. Well, that, man, shit, I'll tell you now. Especially when you don't see it coming. Nigga, that dumb nigga probably said that. That nigga brother probably was that shitted on himself for real. But he still muscled up the courage to chase after them dudes. So I, I have to give him his props. Some people probably wouldn't even move, nigga. Probably been over there hiding, nigga. He ran after them niggas. Man, I got to give him his props. Like, it ain't going to go how, how we wanted to go or whatever, you know. But um, you have, to, you, have to, you have to move fast in situations, though. Like, I, I would have been dead. He said the wounds of the right wrists are related, but they have a typical features pre- Hold up, prevent accurate assignment of wound type. See, I don't understand this shit. Therefore, the wound trajectory cannot be determined. See, they can't tell which way that the risk wound came from. But, you know, everywhere he was hit from, but they can tell exactly which way it came from, where they were standing, but they 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 account for every single shot. They go like, yes. Like, they put the little sticks through the window and they tell, like, what every, everything. Like, they 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 account for every single thing but they saying they can't tell which direction these shots came from right here that came from on his wrist the wound trajectory cannot be determined so the the, the wounds on the right wrist that, those are wounds number 20 and 21 i guess that, i guess that's what they are they numbering them i see okay they are numbering the wounds there is gunshot wound to the wrist that's 21 Oh, that's what these numbers are. The wounds to the right wrist, 20 and 21. All right. There is a gunshot tangential wound to the right forearm. That's number 12, I guess. The number 12 shot. They got, they got the numbers up there and everything. There is a gunshot wound to the left anterior forearm, number 13. The wound is located 15 centimeters below the elbow. Okay, the hole is okay. They measure the holes. No powder, stipple, or soot is identified. So they have to put that to tell if the person was close to them or not. So if, if you got gunpowder on you, Joker was right up on you. You know what I'm saying? Like they that's why they can tell. If he had gunpowder on him, they'll definitely be able to say somebody did something him in that shop. You know what I'm saying? Like they'll 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 definitely have to investigate that. Cause they'll be like, I didn't get gunpowder on them if they standing outside shooting through some glass. Like yeah, they'll 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 that'll make them but they have the videotape showing them what happened. So they really don't have to really, really investigate. That's what people be forgetting. They have the videotape, my nigga. People be thinking, my reach held them down and finished them off. I had a couple comments in my chat like that the other day. Said, man, no, he was saying stay with me, dog, because he was finishing them off. I said, nah, man, because they have the videotape. And you think that man going to kill that man in front of his brother? 
his brother right there. <laughs> you think he gonna kill him in front of his brother while his brother got a Draco in his hand and he's gonna kill him on camera while the cameras are running. I'd be trying to bring people to reality because they'd have been brainwashed with that bull. I'd be like, man, that man ain't did nothing to that damn man, but tried to keep him alive. That's what stay with me, stay with me means. When someone is saying stay with me, they are trying to keep you alive, my nigga. And everything is on camera. That man did nothing wrong, man. And we're just because he didn't want nobody to know he was there. That means because the shooters are still running around. There, there'll be people that ain't been through real life shit, okay? You are on a murder scene. You don't know what the hell is happening. The shooters are still free and running around. Are you going to say you saw something? Uh, are you going to get in this shit? Or, or are you going to say, oh, I, I ain't seen nothing. I don't know a damn thing. Uh, that, you, he may tell the police what he know, but on some news cameras, nigga, you're going to be like, nigga, I ain't seen shit. I don't know nothing. I just pulled up, nigga. Yes, I just pulled up. Nigga, yes, sir. Nigga. And them niggas was out there silencing everything. Everybody who was talking or backing out. Or niggas in the mall killing folks, holding babies in their hand. Niggas down there knocking folks' mamas and shit off. These niggas crazy out here. Nigga, the fuck you think he said he was? Well, I just pulled up too, nigga. Hey, fuck that. Nigga, I just pulled up too, Maurice. Fuck that, nigga. I just pulled up. I ain't seen a damn thing. Now, after they got everybody, I come on up in court and testify. We don't know. The man may get on stand and be testified in their behalf. But why would he not want people to know he was there helping Dolph stay alive? Because that's all he was doing, I'm telling you. That's all he was doing. He was trying to help the man stay alive. And I, that's what I believe. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm just common sense. He walk around with the phone in his hand, that phone glued in his hand. What that tells you? He called the police. Okay, he got the phone in his hand and he got them trying to keep Dolph alive. What they're telling you, like, stay with me, dog, stay with me. And they said that the police recording, you can hear all that shit on the recording and everything. I wonder, can we subpoena that? You can hear all that voice on the the person that made the 911 call. You know, they said that person was hysterical and trying to keep the man alive. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, that man ain't did nothing, that man but tried to help him, man. That's all he did. He ain't did shit wrong. Say so there is a gunshot wound to the left interior forearm, but I, I'm just pulling up too though. Yeah, that nigga's crazy. I, well, I ain't trying to get knocked off neither. Yeah. Say so the wound is located 14 centimeters above the left wrist, and the hole is because they measure the whole uh remote in injuries. Uh let me come back to the chat for a little bit. See, I'll be on different screen. I don't be seeing y'all. Uh salute big ray, salute sunshine. I see Sabrina. I see uh nigga clean. So yeah, that's facts. So you got it down to a T. Say hey, lovely Sabrina. Uh Denny Hop say salute Paula. Yeah, say uh the OG Juke has a video saying did it put out a statement out there talking to the feds at the airport. Oh, I gotta go check that out. Although I've been wondering what did it. Salute. Hey everybody, what's up though, sunshine? Big race loop. See, uh, most of the time the shooter come back to the scene when the crowd formed. That's what I'm saying. They said they was in the crowd. They go black Yoster right there. They're about like one of them looking like Go Bun. We saw black Yoster. It looked like COTs and cobbles out there too. That white Corvette. Like, you know what I'm saying? You never know. Them dude probably went and janked that junk off and then was right out there in the crowd, like trying to look and see who all talking or whatever. You don't want your name in that shit, people. Like, you're at home on your couch, like, having fun. You eating lollipops and ice cream and shit. You're having a great time. They in that shit. They have to live there and go back to work and, like, uh, like niggas just walk in there and kill them whenever. Like, you ain't even got to find them. You know where they at. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want your name in that, man. I'm saying, like, but we don't know if he told Polly what he seen. But I'm saying right there on the scene, I'm telling tell you how real life shit go. You don't want your name in that, man. That's how, that's how real life shit go. I ain't seen nothing. I don't know nothing. Now, you don't know what he told the police on the low low. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what. But so we'll, we'll know when the trial hit. When the trial may come and the man might not have been there. Like, we don't know. I do think he was there, though. I just got to be my honest opinion. But the trial may come, man might not have been there. We'll see. That tape going to tell it. And, and, and then if he was there, then he'll be a, a witness. that He's going to be called on the stand if he was there. Like they gonna have to call them on the stand to, to 
uh, see what they saw or whatever, or their statements going to be read out or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Because they were there. When you are part of a crime scene, nigga, you're going to be in that trial, whether your statement going to be read or you're going to be subpoenaed up on that damn uh, thing. You know what I'm saying? They could subpoena everybody up in that shop, and they, rather they want to or not, they got to come up in there. But ain't nothing going to happen to them now because everybody locked up right now. They good. They safe, right? They good. They good now. You got to come in court to tell what you saw. Oh, you ain't got to. You can come in there and lie you want to, but you know. <laughs> and diagram and photograph as uh is where inspection of the clothing show multiple defects correlating with gunshot wound defects. Uh there are 12 EKG leads. The decedent is received in a sealed body bag. The bag is open to show the body of a well-developed man. Said so the OG was well developed, boy. The dog got them in shape on them niggas' ass. Say, so, uh, the cor the the cord the corneals are slightly cloudy. I guess that's his eyes, ain't it? Ain't the court cor oh the corneals. I'm tripping, nigga. I said the corneals. <laughs> God damn. No, I'm slow, nigga. The corneals, nigga. The corneals are slightly cloudy. The the what that is, the conj the conjunctive. What the hell? C O N J U N C T I V A E conjunctive con the conjunctive and the scleray scleray are tan white and free of hemorrhage and petache P T E C H I A E. Well, I guess that that tells them like what's going on with the body or whatever, whatever, or whatever, or how long the body was there, or whatever. I guess. I don't know about that. You know, I admit what I don't know, nigga. I don't know about that. The detention is natural. The ears are pierced for earrings. The chest and abdominal are symmetrical. The external genitalia are uninjured. The lower extremities are unremarkable. There are bullet fragments in the right jaw, lower mid back, remote bullet in the right liver, remote bullet in the left thigh, bullet core fragment in the right chest, remote bullet in the right buttock. That's where they found that's where they found like whole bullets at, you know, like they recovered bullets from those sections. It just wasn't no fragments or it just wasn't no bullet hole. They actually was able to recover bullets from the from his um jaw, his uh back, liver, his uh thigh, his right chest, and his right buttock. 500 milliliters of blood in the right pleural cavity and 250 milliliters of blood in the left pleural cavity. There are adhesions in the right pleural cavity. They break down. If I couldn't be no coroner, man, you got to do all this. Yeah, I'm going to do They get paid. Yeah, the injury or been Somebody in the chat said one time that somebody was in the uh, the coroner thing and came back alive. I think that was T. Sanders or somebody told me that. Said somebody had to add somebody in the freezer and they came back alive. They were they wasn't really dead. They thought the person was they were deceased, but they really were dead. That should trip you out, would it? Your ass a cord on the goddamn body come alive. Your ass be ran up out of there. Be like, whoa, shit. Body alive, man down. There is a, a periadrenal soft tissue, acute humor, the injury of small intestine have been previously described. The stomach contained probably 20 milliliters of mild digested food and penis is straight. All right, they weighed, they weighed uh, brain, everything. All right, we on page 11. They sample blood, urine, they sample everything. So it's basically just saying the same thing. It was 36. Yeah, they got everything wrote down and um and everybody anybody that want to look at this i'll send you the link to it or i'll put the link in the description or whatever uh distance from body marker distance from midline womb description man they got everything on here boy i wouldn't know with you now this they didn't wrote everything down and measured everything and they got the time and everything down that they got it uh let's see report issued on 12 20 2021 um university of tennessee forensic center uh, analysis code alcohol confirmation oh they looking for his blood type for alcohol uh, white plastic container for the urine they do his blood his heart blood his vitreous fluid, his urine, and his liver tissue. 
Let's see what else. Delta 9 THC. But the OG was smoking that good, good boy. Y'all see that shit right there on it, goddamn. What is, what is, what is the Delta 9, y'all? What kind of what kind of um loud is that there? OG Snake Spotter salute, nigga. I was just looking for you earlier, nigga. When I started the live, I said, where the fuck spot on them at them back? You say, um, big race say salute spotter. OG Spotter, salute. Uh Bush Watchers, hit the like button. It's free, free. Yeah, man. Y'all in the bushes, y'all can smash the like button, or you can come on up in here. Yeah, man. That, that OG dog was smoking that goddamn Delta 9 or something with my nigga. Hey, hey, active ingredients of marijuana. Yeah, but we know the OG stage smoking him some good, good, understood, stood. Marijuana's a DUA schedule one hallucinogen and parapharmacologically. That's like y'all. Pharma, pharmacologically. How you say that goddamn word? Hold up that shit. How you say that word here, y'all? Hold up that. Pharmacologically. <laughs> College, damn, I can't say it. College, jolly, pharma, logically. All right, pharmacolo pharmacologically, as it pharma pharmacologically. Damn, that's a big word there, boy. Pharmacologically, boy, y'all know y'all would be able to say this shit neither. Neither, don't make me drop this link. Y'all know y'all would be able to say that shit. Pharmacologically is a depressant and re re really distorting effects. Collectively, the chemical compounds that compromise uh, marijuana are known as cannibal, cannibal cannabinoids, 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 cannabis. Uh, Delta that THC, the principal psychotic ingredient of marijuana, has sheesh rapidly leaves the blood even during smoking. Falling to below detectable levels within several hours. Delta 9 carboxy THC is the inactive metabolite of THC take up more in the blood. Yeah, he was smoking that good. That's all he had in was some loud. Uh, unless the artery raise are made, the remainder of the submitted specimens will be discarded one year from the date of this report. And uh, generated data will be discarded five years from the date and then the, the analysis were performed. So they said they gonna they, they I guess they keep this all the specimens up to like one year and all the data up to like five years. Uh yeah, that's all he had in him was the, the uh high he think had that hydro in him, that hydroxy delta nine THC got there like uh those both of that goddamn that goddamn real shit, boy. Hey y'all laughing at me bad. <laughs> I can't say that. Hey, that's a big word there, boy. Just like the chemical in Reaper that gets you high. Yeah, man. That goddamn carbophilologically type shit, boy. Definitely shooters and people involved came back to the scene. All, uh, all one, you name, plus one big boogie was in the crowd smiling. Yeah, man. I know that boy kept saying black youngster. Then Black Yonka ran to his insurance guy house talking about some, I ain't do it. I don't care what they say. I ain't do it. Man, when somebody's talking like that, they done did something, my nigga. You know why? You know why he was talking like that? Because he saw it. I mean, he watched it happen. I believe Black Yonka watched it happen just by how spooked he was at that insurance guy man house and his yo car. That sure guy said, man, is you all right, youngster? Huh? He said, man, you see that car right there, nigga? That's your shit. Uh, 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 uh man, that's my girl car. No, nigga. Nigga, that's your shit. Oh, no, I ain't do nothing. I don't care what they say. I ain't do nothing. Yeah, boy, when you go to talking like that, my nigga, it's like when you know you're not involved, you don't care about talking about it. You you will, if it's your enemy, you will talk shit. Like you will talk shit. You'll be like, man, fuck that nigga. You know, fuck, fuck that. Like you'll be talking shit. You'll be talking big shit, especially if it's your enemy. But if you got something to do with it and you scared you're gonna get caught, your ass scared. You like, I don't care what they say. I you already said, I don't care what they say. I ain't do it. You see what I'm saying? Like, why would they say you did it, brother? And it's your car. 
nigga. Yes, yeah, sir. That nigga, that's going down, boy. And your ass was on the scene. The devilish shooters involved, people came back to the scene. All one you named, plus Big Boogie was in the crowd smiling. I ain't even know he was up in there. I know they had that dope. One of them dudes, I ain't gonna say it was 100%, but I put my 70 on it. That dude looking like Go Bun now. And, and the dude kept saying youngster. I ain't see youngster, but I don't understand why the dude would keep saying it. That go black youngster right there. He said it about three times. Damn, they got black youngster out here, boy. I go black youngster right there. He kept saying it. And I'm like, you got to see him. Big Boogie said he wasn't on the scene. Uh. I don't know, boy. I don't know. All the Joe will come. He's going to come out of that trial, boy. Like I said, he's going to make a Rico out of there. Just the chemical and reefer that get you high. It's all going to come out, man. Hey, do y'all think it's going to be a Rico out of this joint? Or it's just going to be the trial and get on, get on with the get on? And I wonder when is they going to start the trial for the Covington thing? Like, when is that going to start? Because it's allegedly connected. So they may wait after the Dolph trial and then start that trial because it's, it's connected. Same people did the shit, so they they got to wait till one over till they start the other. Can't do them at the same time because they be moving them dude back and forth every day. Then you got to go to trial five days a week. Like nigga, you can't do them at the same time. You got the same people involved and stuff. Same evidence, everything. Spider say salute. Big Ray say salute to the OG Spider. Salute Tim at that salute hood news up in this thing. Uh, you say um. Then is he was 100% and the video shows him cracking up laughing. Oh, boy, put that link after we get through. Uh, jump in the comments and put that link up. Wait, after we get through with the live, like go down to the regular, not in here, but the regular comments and put the link down up in that joint. Throw so everybody can see it. I want to go check that shit out. I believe it too. I believe it, buddy. Them joke was on the scene, man. But man, we just gotta hope we gotta gotta pray they don't push trial back, man. Like don't keep on playing with us, man. Cause I gonna want everything to come on out because a lot of fake stuff being put out out here on these goddamn streets. Uh I don't know about all that uh amphetamines and barbiturates and all that, man. That's how I be when I ran the streets, though. I ain't gonna lie, my nigga. When I ran the streets, nigga, we 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 used to like we used to pop like them lower tabs. And we used to drink that grit. We call it grit, but it's called Tussinix. I Dolph them call it the purple. Dolph them drink the purple. No, I'm just telling you how street shit go. That's how we did the street. We smoked that good and loud. We gonna pop us some tabs, and we gonna drink us some Tussinix. Now, we ain't drink that purple down here. We, like, this shit, it'll be like 20 years ago here. It was in my 20s when I ran, righteous was out in the streets. If in my thirties, I've been a working man. My all my twenties, I was deep in them streets, my nigga. It's early six, seventeen, eighteen, on through the twenties, I'm in the streets. But I in my thirties, I got the, got my CDL license to start driving eighteen wheeler trucks, start doing stuff right. Spent like them last little few shootouts. Y'all also heard my ex wife was in here. I said, right that last shootout, nigga, we moved from Homewood to we we moved from Homewood to Fullendale. And then I got there with the work. I left the streets alone after that one, after that last one, because it was too close, boy. It was a bit too close. Lord gave me a second chance, boy. A second chance. Because that wasn't the first. That was the third time there. So, like, yeah, man. And one time she got shot. So, like, I'm out there getting her shot with my bullshit, because these didn't come there and try to rob me, and she getting shot and shit. Like, yeah, man, it was too much. Too much going on. But, uh... Yeah, man, I damn that's how streets be, man. You be you be you be going through so much, you about to pop damn pills and shit, keep your damn head straight. These motherfuckers be so crazy trying to rob you, kill you, be hating on you and all kind of shit. That's how it be. I been through the same shit dog going through nigga with hate. They just hate cause you making money and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? They just hate on you for no reason whatsoever. You have done nothing at all to them. They just want what you got or they want to control you or something like that. The man was just getting money and helping folks. He ain't did nothing to nobody. So why they mad at him and hating on him? I don't understand. I don't even know why the beef started with Gotti and Black Youngster and all that. What the beef? What the beef started from? Y'all drop it in the comments. Like why would that Black Youngster get mad at him just because Gotti sent them at him, or did him and Youngster have like some 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 beef going on between themselves? It looked like at first Youngster was just doing it as for a soldier for Gotti, but then later on it seemed like it got personal. 
with youngster. You know what I'm saying? That's what it seemed like a little bit later on, man. Uh, man, salute everybody. Say, you cannot want to be clickable. Say, listen until I fall asleep. Oh, absolute camera. I'm going to smash out to be about another 15 minutes. You say, uh, after this lab is over. Yeah, post. Oh, uh, can't post a link without being a moderator. Shit, I think you can post a link on mine. Or oh, if not, shit, uh, damn. No, nah, you can't post it in here. But, like, in my regular comments, I think you can, though. Can y'all, like, post a video, a uh, link in the regular comments? I ain't talking about it here. I know you can't post one up in here. But, like, in a regular comments, you about can. Or if not, shit, like, you can get down, like, either I'll post it. You can email it to me or, like, hit me up on, send it to me on IG. Or like email it to me, but I thought you could leave like a link like in the regular comments, not up in here. I'm talking about like after the live over, you could get like in the regular comments and drop a link. Yeah, that nigga. Oh, we probably can Google it. What the name of it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could copy and paste it in like the normal comments. He probably just think about up in here. Yeah, go get you some rest, Kimberly, mama. Hell yeah, man, shit crazy out here, man. So like we just hope they don't push that trial back there, buddy. Well, we gonna be good to go then. But that first day get started. These motherfuckers might well start getting knocked needed because all that cap testing is finna come to the light. Once they start that first day, we ain't gotta worry about nothing else. No more put offs, no more put this day off there. Once it gets started, once that first day gets started, we gonna like, whoo, yes, we in there now. We ready. You need to crunk the car up, nigga. We ready. They ain't finna put it off no more. But if they keep put, if they push that shit back one more time, man, they may get pushed back for the next two, three damn years. But I ain't gonna even be like looking for it no more, man. So I just gotta wait and see. Oh, okay, bet, bet. I got email. All uh, right, yeah, man. Uh, shit, it's just uh, little John John at protonmail.com. Well, if not, though, man, you can drop that shit in the regular comments, too. Or, or just give the title of it. Like, the title the title for the uh the video, and everybody go look it up or whatever. Probably just type in, like, Big Boogie on Young Dolph Crime Scene or something like that. Yeah, man, salute everybody, man. I got the videos in my files. I got the picture of him on deck. Oh, what's the email? That's it on the screen right there. Right there on the screen. Much love, everybody, man. We finna get up out of here. Boy, I just came in here, break some down, holly everybody like a pound. Came here, fuck with everybody. We had just came up. By, oh, we got somebody up here. I ain't see this person here. Uh, they got to come with it. Did it got money? They got to come with it. Did it got money? Yeah, man. But. But sure, boy, that money don't mean nothing, though. We done seen some big ones go down. See, Bill Cosby got money. See, Harvey Weinstein got money. They took them Joker down, man. They took them down. They, they went they in prison. Oh, look, why Dallas Mega Church Pastor T.D. Jakes was named in a lawsuit against Diddy? Oh, they ain't got T.D. Jakes was up in that thing, dude. <laughs> hey. All them TV pastors, man, I'm telling you. I don't want to speak bad on the pastors and all, but, man, them jokers ain't right. I'm just going to leave it right there. All them TV pastors, buddy, the, with them big, big, big mega churches and stuff, they be in, in that little circle with the industry and everybody else, too. You'll see them in the parties with everybody. Look at that T.D. Jake back there snow on the land, nigga. The fuck? Yeah, sir, that's him. That's him at the party. Uh, back there with the women, maybe in a room getting bent over or something like you never know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fans might be knocking on TD Jake door so <laughs> the one just told me. <laughs> yeah, man. Is it crazy? Let me look that up right quick. Let me type that in right quick. Boy. Oh Lord. Let me type that in right quick. <laughs> TD Jakes in Diddy lawsuit. See if it come up, y'all. Oh, boy. Oh, T.D. Jakers going down, boy. Let me put it up on screen right quick. 
old T.D. Jakers was going down. Say he was fingering the little girls in the booty. But you ain't going down, T.D. Jakers. Hold on, here they go. Eddie. Eddie right now. World-renowned Dallas pastor T.D. Jakes is named in a federal lawsuit against musician Sean Diddy Combs. Jakes is a bishop at his church, the Potter's House and Non-Denominational American Mega Church. Uh, let me click on this CBS News and see what's up. Yeah, everybody going down now, boy. I'm telling you. It's going to be like a string of people going down, boy. Uh, Diddy, like I said, they might they might not get Diddy because if they do get Diddy, they're going to bring a lot more down with him. A lot more going down with him. And he got the keys to the kingdom. Probably got a couple videotapes with them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, people? You know what I'm saying, people? Probably got the jokers on videotape. Uh, like 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 uh Jeffrey Epstein did. Like old Epstein or did. Uh here we go right here. Let's see what's up. Uh, uh take this off. Worry now, Pastor Jake's named in federal lawsuit against Diddy. All right, filed by a producer who works with Combs. Okay. The, the lawsuit was filed by a producer who works with Combs. The suit discusses how the singer plans to leverage his relationships with the bishop to soften the impact on his public in, image of Cassie Ventura's lawsuit. Oh, so he was trying to use the pastor to make him look good with the Cassie lawsuit. But he's saying, read it again. Filed by a producer who works with Combs, the suit discusses how the singer plans to leverage his relationship with the bishop, with the bishop, to soften the impact on his public image of Cassie lawsuit. Ventura is a former girlfriend of Combs who filed her own lawsuit in November, alleging abuse, violence, and sex trafficking. Combs' lawyer is criticizing the raise at the two of the hip hop mogul home in federal traffic investigation, calling them gross misuse of military level force and unprecedented ambush. And so they ambushed him. Combs faced multiple sexual allegations recently. Two women accused him of sexual abuse in November 2023, just one week after he settled with the tour. That's what I'm saying. That's what's going to make it do. All the women going to pop out now, nigga. Y'all know all the women pop out, especially when they know they about to get paid. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, sir. All the women pop out when they know it's payday time. Nigga, everybody finna pop out then. Like, how much did she get? Oh, oh hell no. He, he, he did it to me, too. He did it to me, too. Leave me a lawyer. Two women accused him of sexual abuse in November. Two women lawsuits were filed on the eve of the expiration of the Adult Survivors Act. New York law giving victims of sexual abuse a one-year window to file the civil action regardless of the statute of limitations. In December 2023, another woman accused Combs and two other men. Oh, I told y'all about two other men. One of them they name and then one of them they won't name. Uh, two other men of gang raping her in two, 2003. That's messed up, man. They just run and train and and, and, that's, and they raped her without her permission. That's messed up, man. Get her over there to have a good time. Trick you over there. Like, they'll put on like that, 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 that professional act and get you over there. Every woman want to hang with Diddy. They'll put that professional act, get you over there. And when they get you in the room, nigga, that monster comes out. That, that damn evil monster comes out. That's why I say, that's why certain people don't like the beef on YouTube. They be afraid that they paperwork going to come out. You know what I'm saying? Because your paperwork is the real you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these bloggers got these exact same charges. But I say I ain't going to speak on it no more, so I'm going to keep her going. 
Now, in December 2023, another woman accused Combs and two other men of gang raping her in 2003 when she was 17 years old. According to a civil court document filed United States District Court, Southern District Court in New York. Uh, no, I ain't got no goofy shit on there, nigga. I ain't gonna see me like, fucking raping no woman, rape, grab no little kids, messing with no fun boy, gay shit. None of that shit is in my work, buddy. None of it. You couldn't dream it up fucking with me, nigga. One thing about me, I don't fuck with no flamer shit, and I don't do no goofy shit. No oh, look. All right. Uh, you won't even find a picture with me with another male nigga unless it's a family member. Beside that, you won't even find another man. I don't fuck with nobody. I'm, I'm solo dolo. Uh, two of the cues says, oh, I read that. All right, of course, see what Dr. Fowler said. All right, CBS News, Texas reached out to Jake's church for a comment. We haven't read back. Okay, so they ain't said that TD Jake's did nothing though. They just said, like, Diddy is trying to use T.D. Jakes to make itself look good with him. You know what I'm saying? All right, we getting out to get down, man. You know what I'm saying? Jakes ain't, oh, Jakes ain't dead, man. He all right. He good, man. He said, Jake better hope the fans don't come knocking. Nah, it, it don't look like he did nothing. You know what I'm saying? All right, pretty brown. Pretty brown. So I said, peace, sir. Uh. Uh, he can't deny it, but it's clear in 4K, no blur. Oh, shit, I take your word for it, damn boy. You said that shit clear, you can see him. Yeah, boy, that joint crazy. I hear Cuba Good Jr. in that paperwork, too. Man, this joint is gonna be just like the Elster thing. With a lot of people that was in his paperwork, a lot of people that been in the joint paperwork. They all get down with the get down, man. They all have these parties. This joint is normal to them. I don't know why they just might now want to expose them or whatever. Like same thing with Elster. They wanted Elster, but when they got Elster, all kind of other people was going to tumble down with it because he got videos and, and fight manifests and, all, and the females coming out from the point that damn Prince of England out and all that. A lot of other people was going to come down with that. He ain't over there just doing all that by himself. No, he having guests over there and preparing that young women for them. So like. They wanted Elster, but they didn't want to mess up all these other billionaires. So, like, if Elster would have made the court, all that would have came out. So they had to give him that ticket to the damn stairway to heaven and to let him go and go up north. The Al Prophet has the most information that I saw. Hey, we'll check Al Prophet out, man. Jake, but hold up, it don't look like Jake that did then. Uh, pink skin all drink. Yeah, man, they 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 date raping the girls, man. They they put so many of that knock the girls out. They still be woke, but they they might be a little limp or whatever, whatever, and just be passing the girl around like they like they man. That's done messed up, man. You can't get it on your own, nigga. Don't get it, and you get it legally, nigga. What it is, eighteen and above, whatever. Like damn, nigga, you did it. You can get whatever you want. Like the you can get the finest woman. There is. You get the purest there is out there. You are Diddy. You ain't, they ain't got to do this stuff. I don't understand why they be doing it. They don't have to. You can get the baddest woman out there, man, nigga. You could probably have you 30 of them running around your house naked. Like, literally. Like, but they be wanting young, underage kids, and, and then they be wanting to take it, because I, I guess they get something out of it. Like, it ain't fun for nobody just to give it to them. They want to take it. Like, I don't know. If that's what that's what the predators do. They that's what they they get something out of it. They got to take it, man. You know what I'm saying? As a predator gonna be a predator, man. But 50 Cent say Jay Z won't answer his phone, man. <laughs> said, said Jay Z won't answer the phone. Uh, 50 Cent, uh, baby mama was trafficked with the little producer as well. Oh man. Said so Jeff pulled up. Salute Nick. Lot going on in the thing, man. If anybody have anybody know about MD? I'm a, yeah, man. Yeah. I know I heard I saw that on a documentary on TV on, on Netflix on one of them little drug shows or whatever, whatever. Some of the strongest stuff. Put it in a drink or something like that. What they do? They pour it in a drink or something. Folks get nuts when they get clout and want more. I don't know, man. They just be evil, fam. It don't be about the clout. Like, it just be like, they just evil. They got evil inside of them. That, 
that don't be stuff that they want to get clout off of. That be stuff they want to do behind the closed doors that they don't want you to know about. <laughs> yeah. He got all the clout. The nigga name is P. Diddy. He is the clout. Like, that nigga is the shit. But they, they want to do stuff behind closed doors that you, know, that you don't know about, dog. And they like, it ain't fun. I guess it ain't. That's what all of them like, dog. They like underage women. All of them, dog. From the big billionaires, from the old men, almost 90 years old to the, you know, I don't know what they, when they sell their soul, they get evil stuff in them or what. But that's how they do. Elps, like the Epstein thing and all them celebrities that was on that flight manifest, we see that. They all get down like that. But I don't know why they be wanting young ass pussy. Like, you got to go get the baddest woman in the world out like there, boy. Like, what you want that little young shit for, man? Like, damn. That just don't make no sense to me. But yeah, boy, they get what they got, though. But yeah, man, salute everyone, man. It's much love, man. Everyone, thank you for coming in, kicking it with the OG Tapster, man. Salute the uh, support for the day, too. Everybody coming through. Salute to Kimberly. Salute to Paula came up in here dropping the super duper, man. We just popped up. Just say hey to my people for real, but we end up running some content. Uh, we ain't even finished the um thing yesterday, the other day, so we just went on and finished it out. Yeah, but I'm just oh, you talk about um having more than they can spend and needing over stimulations for some weirdo stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you on that. You joke would be on some satanic stuff, man. That's what I believe. They really be on some satanic stuff, man. Like when you sell your soul to the devil, boy, you turn satanic. And people don't believe in that stuff. These jokers and sold their souls to the devil. That's how they get this big and rich and powerful like this. Lots of celebrities come out and tell you out their own mouths. We didn't heard it. We know they doing it. Hey, I heard Kanye even come out and said it. We heard Cat We don't speak on it. Like some celebrities don't want to speak on it, but certain celebrities like be wanting to like just go and let people know what's going on in the industry. They doing that stuff, man. They said they sold for the gold, said they sold. And when you say you sold to the devil, the devil owns your soul. Like, so a demon can come take over you. You won't even be the same person no more, bro. But like, yeah, they, they're doing all that crazy stuff like that. Damn, man, I'll be to have me a beautiful woman, two, four, five beautiful women running around the damn house, man. I don't want no damn kids. Fuck, I want some little ass kids, man. I don't understand that at all. You have you got a different one, but out of a different country every week, nigga. Fly in, nigga, like swapping them out. Like, <laughs> like I don't understand that. You had some Asian on Tuesday, boy. Hey, some Arab on Wednesday. Hey, some damn, some damn Chinese on Thursday. Boy, hey, some Mexican on Friday, boy. Got like switching the food, boy. You be flying them in, like, <laughs> I don't understand, man. They just want some cute. You had, he had his. I can't believe that though. He has kids going, getting the kids for him. That joint is crazy. And look into that. I just found that out on the live, man. They say he had his sons them going and getting the little young girls for him too. But a lot of people around him turning on. They probably have been turned on. They been filed this stuff, man. They just not coming out with this stuff. These folks probably have been filed all these reports and stuff. I don't know why they just now coming out with them. That, that's that's my only thing I'm spook tripping about. Why now? Why you ain't been did anybody? Why you wait 20 years? That's all I'm tripping on. That just made me think that they it's something he did that them pissed off the higher ups or whatever, whatever. Because they just come out of, at a certain time. Like I use Trump as an example. Like as soon as Trump get ready to run for president, I'm telling you, he start having all kinds of problems. At certain they get the people at certain times, man. I, I don't understand that. Me to piss somebody off or something, man. But much love, everyone. We about to smash up out of here, man. Salute to everybody. I'm finna go on, get down with my get down. Eat me some good, fun, little live, man. Came up here, ran a little content. Take that off the screen right there. Take this banner off the screen. See, I don't even be thinking about running up a damn banner or none of that shit. I don't ever have my banner up or none of that. They let you know I don't even be thinking about the damn shit. But I need to run my banner because they have my promo. But that just let you know I don't be thinking about this. Shit. I let it end the live, just not thinking to turn my damn banner on. But yeah, man, my little everybody, man, salute. We about to smash up out of here. Like I say, a little everybody. We gonna stay on the on this Diddy case, see what's going on. Anything trending, we talk about it. And uh, we definitely gonna stay on the dog case, see what's going on. But 
Diddy training right now, so we're going to see if they lock his old goof ass up. He ain't locked up yet, though, so let's see what go on, man. Salute, everyone. Smash up out of here. What I'm about to say when I get up out of here, pretty brown. I say peace, sir. Salute to all the beautiful ladies. Salute to the tap fam. Salute to the OGs. Man, we up out of here.